and we're live. Good morning, everybody. This is Bill Feely bringing you another edition of MSATP TV. Joining us this morning is Michael Ashley with Registered Agents. Michael, I hope you had a nice holiday. Hey, Bill, and, I did. Thank you. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself and your company and, um, and what we can do to help you. Sure, Bill. Um, so happy new year, everybody coming up. Uh, my company, of course, I hope you guys know is registered agents. We do incorporation work. We set up LLCs and corporations. We do it in every state. Um, we're a low cost provider. I've been in business for 22 and a half years. We uh, charge $79. We form, take the paperwork from you, uh, fill out documents to officially register to do business in a state. And if you're already in a state, you need to register to do business in another state. Um, we can do that in every state. Um, we also are, uh, you know, like I said, we help sponsor our Maryland Society um, accountants and tax professionals. Uh, we get a lot of referrals because a lot of the accountants, CPAs are coming across clients that they really think they should be protecting themselves and be incorporated. Sometimes for tax reasons, they should be setting up um, sometimes to be legitimate doing business in a state and having the rights of uh, needed in those states to do business. Um, we're helping them do that and be compliant and, uh, you know, officially register and, uh, you know, get their business moving forward without having to worry about the nitty gritty paperwork stuff. We take that um, hassle out of, out of their hands and make sure it's done correctly for one low fee. That's okay. With all of the people working, teleworking and everything, has that created a need for companies to register in different states? Or is that uh, pretty much like a reciprocity type thing? Yeah, it ha no, it happens in some states are cracking down that, you know, what constitutes biz doing business in a state? Sometimes one of those check boxes, hey, I have an employee in that state, they're meeting people or they're actually physically in a state that you, you should be registered to do business. Uh, we don't give legal or tax advice, but um, you know, we're finding, we're having a busy year. A lot of people are leaving big companies and going doing things on their own. Um, people are buying real estate, so they're forming LLCs. Again, they're working remotely and they're doing side businesses or their, um, you know, their companies are finding, hey, I should be registered to do business in the state. I've got a couple employees in another state that's not our home state and we need to do uh -huh. that. So, okay. That. So you recommend that people who have employees in other states get registered in those states? Um, it's, uh, it's really dependent on the state and how involved they are. I mean, there are interstate commerce laws that allow people to work all over. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, what they consider constituting doing business and how they're doing their tax returns and the company and what they're selling to that state. And they also have employees. That's just another red flag, I think, for uh, another the reason to but again i don't want to give advice on whether you should or shouldn't um of course right. most of the states want you to register they want they want their piece of the pie and, and you'll see and the business sure. there's you to you know be representative to sue on behalf of your business uh-huh now from a legal standpoint um what's the difference between an llc and a corporation anything as far as what getting registered to do well, do we lose you? As for far, sorry, I'm getting a little bit of a lag. Uh, okay, you're basically um, an LLC acts as a corporation um, in the same sense of giving you protection, but an LLC gives you more flexibility as far as if the company has profits and there's partners involved, you can distribute the profits unequally, where sometimes a corporation or an S corp, you're limited by who owns the shares. Even if I did 80% of the work, but I only own 50% of the uh, shares. Right. Of a, an S corporation, I only am entitled to 50% of the profits. Um, gotcha. So there, there are things like that, uh, hang, having an annual meeting. Uh, sometimes with an LLC, you, uh, you know, it's not a typical requirement to be a corporation where in, in general corporation, technically you should have an annual meeting every year and uh, do a few more things like that. Right. Well, that's good to know. Um, 
Is there anything else that uh, we should be aware of as far as uh, registered uh, corporations and things like that? Yeah, I mean, most states require an annual fee, so just make sure your clients are paying that annual fee. Um, you know, some there's some eyeballs like District of Columbia, D.C., where it's every two years, but typically you need to let them know uh, and pay a fee to the right to do business in that state. Um, and as far as forming it, we can help you with that. Uh, most states are reasonable in their fees, you know, a couple hundred dollars. I think Maryland between $100 $150. We charge $79. And then if you're not physically in the state, or let's say you have a satellite office, you're not there all the time, you need to have a registered resident agent office. And we can arrange that in every state for $99 a year. So something to keep in mind if your clients are coming in and looking to form a company and you're not sure where to send them instead of just send them out into the internet, at least have a contact, someone uh, you know who's associated with the, the uh, might have been a corporate sponsor and can get that um, we can help out okay That's pretty much the gist of what we do and all right very good well we appreciate you coming on nothing we crazy no uh, helping you're being corporate sponsor for us and um we wish you a happy new year and uh hopefully 2022 will bring all the health and happiness that you can ask for i appreciate it thanks uh Mary, happy uh um, uh, New Year to everybody out there, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll see you at a seminar soon. All right, sounds good. Take care. Thank you, and Happy New Year to everybody out there. Goodbye.